Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a related rates cone problem. So we have a conical tank has height 3 feet and radius 2 feet at the top. Water flows in at a rate of 2 cubic feet per minute and we want to find how fast is the water level rising when the height is 2 feet. So for this problem and pretty much all related rates problem, the first thing we want to do is draw a diagram and collect as much data as we can. So we start off, we have a tank in the shape of a cone. And we know that the radius of the cone at the top is 2 feet and the height of the cone is 3 feet. And one important concept here is that a cross section of a cone, if we take just this cross section here, it's going to make a right triangle, which is going to come into play later. Next, we want to translate and extract data. Water flows in at a rate of 2 cubic feet per minute. That tells us that dv over dt is equal to 2 cubic feet per minute. So just know that when water flows in, that affects the volume of the cone. And since the rate here is expressed in cubic feet, feet to the third power, volume is a three-dimensional concept. So we have to assign dv over dt to this rate here. And the question is asking us, how fast is the water level rising? So we're looking for dh over dt, which is basically how fast the height is changing when the height is 2 feet, so at h equals 2. So if we restate the question, this is what we're looking for here. And we also know at height equals 2 feet, this is the data we're going to use at the end when we plug in. So for this example here, our primary equation is volume equals 1 third pi r squared h. But the problem with just using this equation is if we take the derivative of both sides, on the right side, we're going to have an r term, we're going to have an h term, a dr dt term, and a dh dt term. So that's four unknowns on the right hand side. And right now, we only know two pieces of information. So we need to introduce a second equation to fix this problem that we have too many unknowns. So we need to use the concept, uh, a geometric concept, that with a cone, Wherever the water level is, we could always find a new radius and a new height as the water fills this cone here. And if we look at these two right triangles separately, the big right triangle represents the entire cone, two and three. But at wherever the water level is, the radius at that level and the height are going to stay in this ratio of two to three. So whatever the radius is and the height is, dependent upon the water level rising, we know that r over h has to stay in the ratio of 2 over 3. And since we're trying to solve for dh over dt, the change of the height, we want everything in terms of h for this equation here. So we could solve our proportion. We could solve it for r so that everything is in terms of h. We could accomplish this by multiplying both sides by h, and we'll have r equals two-thirds times h. So this is a very important piece of information because it's going to help us answer this problem here. So at this step, we're going to make a substitution. We'll have one-third times pi times r squared times h. But instead of r, we're going to replace r with two-thirds h. So we get to this step here, and now we can just simplify the right side a bit. We're going to have volume equals one-third pi and now 2 thirds times 2 thirds is 4 ninths. h squared times h is h to the third power. So we can write this as 4 pi over 3 times 9 is 27, h to the third power. So from this line to this line, we've kind of solved our problem here. That now we have less variables, and when we take a derivative with respect to time, we'll have enough data to use to solve for the unknown rate, dh dt. So we take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. And on the left, we're going to have dv over dt equals 4 pi over 27 is a constant, so we leave it be. And we take the derivative of h to the third with respect to time. And we'll get 3h squared dh dt. So what we could do is we could cancel out this factor. 3 over 27 reduces to 1 over 9. So we could write our derivative here 
dv over dt equals, and we'll have 4 pi over 9 times h squared dh dt. So at this step, now we're getting ready to solve this. All we have to do is just plug in the information that was given to us. And we're going to wait to the end to write all the units out just so everything doesn't get cluttered. So dv over dt we could replace with 2. And we'll have 4 pi over 9. h is equal to 2 feet, so we're going to replace h with 2. And we'll have 2 squared. And this is dh over dt evaluated at h equals 2. Now we'll introduce this vertical bar because now we're plugging in 2. And we're plugging in all the information based on what's happening when the water level is at 2 feet. So the right side will simplify a bit. This is 2 equals, and we'll have 4 pi times 2 squared is going to give us uh, 4 times 4 pi, which is 16 pi, over 9. And we have times dh dt at h equals 2. So to solve for this unknown rate, we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction here. So we can multiply by 9 over 16 pi on both sides. 2 over 16 will reduce to 1 over 8. And then this fraction here, both of them will cancel each other out. And this is going to tell us our unknown rate. We have dh dt at h equals, and now we'll introduce the units, at h equals 2 feet equals, and on the left hand side all we're left with is 9 over 8 pi. So we have 9 over 8 pi but just so this makes sense, the height is a one-dimensional concept. And since we were in terms of feet and minutes, we'll call this feet per minute. And this is our final answer. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on solving a related rates cone problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.